Hello students, welcome to Rohit Tutorials. In this lecture, we will discuss about the introduction of milling machine. In our previous video, we have discussed about basic things or introduction about the Mure machine. So Mure machine is the first part of finite automata with the output and milling machine is the second part of finite automata with output. So basic things related to milling machine. Milling machine is also represented with the help of six tuple. First tuple is capital Q, next is summation, next is transition function, Q0 is the initial state, next is output symbol and the last is nothing but the lambda that is output function or we call it as the machine function. Capital Q is the finite set of states. Summation is the finite set of input symbols. Transition function is represented by capital Q for that any input symbol is occur, it goes to the next state. Q0 is the initial state. Delta is the output symbol and last is nothing but the lambda is the machine function. Capital Q for that any input symbol is occur, it goes to or it gives you, it gives you the output symbol. For example, consider this finite automata. When we discuss about the Mure machine in that state is present with the output. State is present with the output. Now in Mille machine, in Mille machine input is available with the output. Suppose Q0 state 0 is present or at Q0 state 0 is over, it goes to Q1 and output is represented with the help of input symbol. Here input symbol is present, after that slash is present, after that output symbol is present. Same thing, 0 slash 0, this is the input symbol, this is the output symbol, this is input symbol, 1 slash 1, 1 is input symbol, 1 is output symbol. So this is the representation of basic output representation of Mille machine. Suppose Q0 state 0 is occur, it goes to Q1 and output is 1. Q0 state 1 is occur, it goes to Q2 and output is 0. The formal definition of the Mille machine is that the output symbol is totally depends upon the present state and present input symbol. Here Q0 state 0 is occur, the output is 1. Here Q2 state 0 is occur, output is 0. So this is the definition of the Mille machine. Mille machine is also represented with the help of 6 tuple plus is capital Q, finite set of states. So there are 3 states are available, Q0, Q1, Q2. These are we consider it as a capital Q. Next is summation, finite set of input symbol. Here input symbol 0, 0, again here 1 is present, here 1 is present, here 1 is present, here 0 is present. So we are taking the unique content. So finite set of input symbol is either 0 or either 1. Because before this slash, we consider it as an input symbol in Mille machine. Next is transition function capital Q for that any input symbol is occur, it goes to Q. Suppose this is capital Q, this is input symbol and it goes to capital Q. Capital Q is nothing but the, it goes to the next state. Capital Q R, Q0, Q1, Q2. Input symbol is 0, suppose 0, 0, 0 is occur. Again for Q0 state, Q1 state, Q2 state, 1 is occur. What happened? So this is nothing but the transition function at Q0 state 0 is occur, it goes to Q0 state 0 is occur, it goes to Q1. At Q0 state 1 is occur, it goes to Q2. Sorry here, 1 is occur, it goes to Q2. Q1 state 0 is occur, Q1 state 0 is occur, it goes to Q2. Q2 state 0 is occur, it goes to Q2. Q0 state 1 is occur, it goes to Q2. Q1 state 1 is occur, self loop. Q2 state 1 is occur, it goes to Q0. So whenever at any state, any input symbol is occur, it goes to the next state. So these states are from, these states are from Q0, Q1, 
और Q2. Next is Q0 initial state. So we represent Q0 as the initial state. Next is delta output symbol. Here output is represented after this slash. One is present or either zero is present. So output symbols are either zero or either one. Next is lambda machine function capital Q for that any input is occur it gives you the output. In Mure machine. Capital Q decides the output. Means with the state output is present, so that's why capital Q decides what output is present at that particular state. But in Mille machine, whenever at any state any input symbol is occur, it gives us a output symbol. It gives us output symbol. So this is represented by delta. So how we represent this delta? That is output. Output symbol Q0 state 0 is occur, output is 1. Q0 state 0 is occur, it goes to Q1 and output is 1. Q1, Q, so, suppose Q1 state 0 is occur, it goes to Q2, output is 0. Next, Q2 state 0 is occur, self loop, output is 0. Next is Q0 state 1 is occur, it goes to Q2. Q0 state 1 is occur, it goes to Q2, output is 0. Q1 state 1 is occur, it goes to Q1. Q1 state 1 is occur, having the self loop, output is 1. Q2 state 1 is occur, it goes to Q0. Q2 state 1 is occur, it goes to Q0, output is 1. So this is the thing but the output function. Capital Q for that any input symbol is occur, gives you a output symbol. And capital Q for that any input is occur, it gives you or it goes to the next step this is called as this is called as transition function and with the help of this transaction will give you the output this is called as machine function so this is about the basic things of Miller machine whenever we pass any string suppose 0011 to this Miller machine what happened as we know that when we consider the Mure machine if suppose we give the n length string to the Mure machine, it gives you output as n plus 1. It gives you output as n plus 1 length string. But what happened in Mille machine, when we provide, this is about the Mure machine. But whenever we consider the Mille machine, whenever we provide n length string, it gives you output as a n length. Mille machine. How? Let me check. 0, 0, 1, 1. Starting state, suppose Q0 state 0 is over, it goes to Q1 state, okay? And output is Q0 state 0 is over, it goes to Q1, but output is 1. Output is 1. Q1 state 0 is over, 0 is over, it goes to Q2, output is 0. Q2 state 1 is occur, it goes to Q0, output is 1. And last is at Q0 state 1 is occur, Q0 state 1 is occur, it goes to Q2, output is 0. So this is about basic things related to Mille machine. I hope you understood this. Thank you.